Hey guys, what is going on this morning? Over here at the Lytle Creek Cleanup, I want to introduce you to my good friend, Christian. What's up, guys? <laughs> Christian's been planning this for how long, Christian? We plan every month <laughs> to have a cleanup. So every month, Christian comes out here, donates her time. She brings out some awesome bagels. If you guys can see right there, we got some bagels. All that good stuff right there, guys. Check it out. Bagels, bananas. She does this out of the kindness of her heart because she cares and she provides out of all this out of her own pocket correct that's correct christian do you want to tell us a little bit more about what goes on on the planning and everything <laughs> basically right now we're focused on lytle creek um we've been home base for lytle creek for almost a year now coming up in july we'll be celebrating and we're just trying to bring the awareness of what's going on here um, there's been a lot of activity, a lot of graffiti activity, a lot of gang activity, a lot of deceased animals, just a lot of crazy contaminating situations that people in the surrounding cities and counties that come out here and far away don't even realize is happening. Save the Creek, come out here if you can't make it up this time. Again, she posts, uh, what's the name of the site? So we are Clean Up the Creek by SoCal Trash Army on IG. So there it is, guys. She'll be posting updates and stuff like that monthly. So come on out again. If you miss it this time, no, no worries. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next outing, all right?
Okay, so there I am with one of the biggest pieces of the trash in the creek. I think this was a PVC pipe of some sort. Not sure why anybody would leave it in the creek, but there it was. Heading over to Hidden Acres. Gonna go get us some grub. Hidden Acres provided us with the lunch, so special thanks to them. Hidden Acres, you guys rock. Definitely appreciate that. And for those who don't know what Hidden Acres is about, they do corporate events, special events, proms, uh, weddings. If you're in the market, you guys need some of that type of setup, check them out. I highly recommend it. Very nice area. It's about a 22 acre type setup there. So they got plenty of room to host your corporate events or weddings or whatnot. So check them out. I'll put the link down below. Okay, so here we are now. We're all kind of reminiscing, talking about our day. All the volunteers that went out there and just kicked butt and picked up all the trash. I gotta say, all the people that I met today, awesome. You guys all rock for sure. Christian, thank you for putting this on. Big shout out to Christian. Without you, none of this would have happened. We did find some treasure. We found some awesome stuff. So let's get down the mountain because I did find a phone. So I want to return that to the rightful owner. Unfortunately, I don't have service up here. Otherwise, I would just call him myself and we try to return it now. But let's get down the mountain. Let's uh, try to find the owner of this phone. And hopefully we can make somebody's day today. All right, let's go. We did find a couple of treasures that I was surprised we found. So one of the things that we did find was the Trojan cooler. And also what we found was a the sack here and had a cell phone in it. So going to be getting the phone to the rightful owner. Now, crazy thing was, as we were coming down the mountain from Lytle Creek, the phone rang. And come to find out, it was actually one of our folks that participated in the Lytle Creek cleanup. So pretty awesome that that happened. So we are going to be giving it back to Caleb and Deborah is her name. This time I got it right. I, there was a driver's license in there, and but I already remembered her name from the cleanup. So her name is Deborah, and Deborah is gonna get her phone back with her ID. And I don't think I saw any credit cards or anything else like that in there, but we're gonna be giving it back to the rightful owners. We are, uh, they're about five minutes out right now. So as soon as they come in, we are uh, gonna be giving that back to them. All right, so. All right, guys, so now that we got the phone back to the rightful owners, and we got it all said and done, and Deborah's happy, Caleb's happy. What they, what should they be doing, guys? Subscribe, subscribe. to the channel. Subscribe. There you have it, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Always love to have new subscribers. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.